In a certain sense, language is the most difficult means of communication to master. It demands integrity, honesty, decent vocabulary skills, you name it. Non-verbal communication though, like reading people's emotions, empathy, telepathy, intuitive viewing, that is super easy. Those are easy because they're precise. When you're being with a person, and if your perceptive faculties are sensitive enough, you can get precise information on what is going on with them. But when we rely solely on language, we open ourselves up for receiving information in a distorted form, filtered through layers of interpretation. There is lots of room for manipulation when we communicate using language. With empathy, for instance, it's easier because once you're connected with someone, once you identify with them, you will know immediately what they're experiencing. And then you can verbalize it with yourself in a communication with yourself in a way that is tailored to you specifically. I wanna share a little story with you. A couple of days ago, I was going somewhere by taxi and there was a driver who was lacking appreciation. He didn't have that experience of being appreciated. He didn't feel as if he was being appreciated by other people. And he was really struggling to get that appreciation from us. It was not us that were somehow special to that driver. It was the lack in appreciation that this man was so desperate about trying to get. As a matter of fact, that driver was sharing multiple stories with us where he acted like a hero. I could feel non-verbally that what he was lacking was appreciation. But instead of pressurising the driver in order to get him to say that what he was lacking was appreciation, I acted straight from the knowing of the fact that what he was lacking was in fact appreciation. And when, he, when we were getting out of the taxi when we reached our destination, what I said to that driver was, thank you for a very safe ride. It feels so good to be around someone who you can feel safe with. That man was delighted. His need in that interaction was met. Communication via language, as it happens commonly without thinking, if we don't train for it, if we don't contemplate it, don't think about it. It's like being a novice swordsman. Your blade is blunt and you don't control the sword. There is no connection between yourself and the sword. And once you start learning more about the sword, about the art, and how you and the sword can act together, you can work your way towards mastery and your moves become more refined and suddenly, without realising, you can achieve your goal with enhanced precision. There comes a moment in your training when you can predict the effect your moves will have on yourself, the environment and the fellow apprentice. When people think about mastery with language, they usually think advanced vocabulary, varied grammatical structures, impress your examiner kind of constructions, organisation of speech, a certificate in your treasure trove of certificates that you can place on a wall behind you. But what I mean when I talk about mastery in language is the ability to communicate your inner truth or send authentically. And in order to do that, you need to stay in contact with your truth Otherwise, what and why are you communicating? That's why in my lessons, when I work with people face to face, I teach students to stay connected with what is true for themselves at each moment. I teach people to discover what's true for them emotionally, physically and mentally, and express it in the language that is up to the task. Language is dualistic, but it is only confusing when there is a gap in interlocutors' levels of consciousness, if let's say one person realises what their true nature is and the other is not. 
To the former, everything will make sense. To the latter, there will be paradoxes and confusion. As more and more of us are discovering that we're in fact sharing our being, that our being does not share the confines of the body or mind, more of us get onto the same page together, where genuine communication, as it is meant to be happening, becomes possible.